We'll be right back, Karen. Yeah, and someone's gonna watch over you while we're gone, so you should be just fine. Uh, can you guys tell me where exactly you're going again? Why, to buy you birthday presents, of course. Your birthday's coming up next week. Yeah, and what's a birthday without some presents? So we need to go out and buy you some presents, and they're all a surprise, so we don't want you to see them. So you're going to stay here with someone else, and he's going to babysit you. He is? Um, okay. What's his name? I think it was Anthony or something like that. But yeah, we'll figure it out soon enough. So do you think you'll be okay here? Yeah, I should be fine. I can't wait for my birthday. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Oh, and we brought your wish list along, so now we know what you want. <gasps> there he is. Hi there, my name's Shelby. And I'm Jim Bob. Welcome. Hey, uh, my name's Anthony. Uh, are you sure I have the right house? Of course. Well, then where's your chinchilla Karen? Um, I'm right here. Oh, wow, you were so small I couldn't see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, you look stunning. Uh, hello? Are you there, Anthony? What's wrong, Anthony? Why are you looking at me like that? Was it something I said? Oh, oh, uh, sorry. I, uh, uh, kind of zoned out. But, uh, I'll be sure to look after her. And we can play some board games and watch some movies, play some video games. Ooh, ooh, I want to watch my favorite TV show, Kips and Cops. Oh, right. Yeah, that'll be awesome. And I also have a secret game in mind. It's so exciting and fun. Do you want to play? Yeah, of course I want to play! <laughs> wow, you two are getting along all right. Well, we should probably be gone for a few hours, which is a long time, but I think you two will manage. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Jim Bomb. Bye, Anthony. Bye, Karen. We'll be back soon. Let's go play that secret game now that they're gone. Coming! Okay, which room is yours? The one on the left. Perfect. What's the secret game? Um, come over here. Okay. My bed. What about my bed? What is it that you want, Anthony? How do we play the game? Shh, just be quiet for a second, okay? Get on top. What? I said get on top of the bed. Uh, Anthony, I don't feel very comfortable doing this. Well, that's how it's supposed to feel. Wait, 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 what are you doing? We're home. Wow, all the presents are neatly wrapped and everything. Looks like you're ready for a big birthday bash. <laughs> yes, sirree. These are all the presents we bought. <laughs> yeah, this one even has a cute little bag to go along with it. <sighs> Isn't it so nice? Yeah, I wonder what this is. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Um, excuse us, but where is Karen? Yeah, where is she? Guys, um, Karen, is something wrong? Yeah, you seem a bit jittery. I, I, I'm fine, 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 fine. Anthony is the best babysitter I've ever had. Really? Maybe he could visit another time. <laughs> yeah, another time. Isn't that right, Karen? Yeah, right. Well, um, I guess we'll pay you now, Anthony. Yep, just gonna leave the presents off to the side here. Karen, what's wrong? Nothing, okay? Really, nothing at all. I'm totally fine. Your act isn't going to work on me. I know something's up. Shh, don't talk so loud. 
I'm not supposed to tell anyone about this. A about what? I just can't tell you, okay? Everything's fine. Well, aren't you going to have some, Karen? I don't know, I'm not very hungry right now. Okay, that's it, spit it out. What happened earlier today? You've been acting all funny all day. Yeah, Jim Bob's right. It's time for you to tell us what happened. <sighs> Fine, um, you see, Anthony touched me. He touched you? What do you mean? He touched me in really inappropriate places, and it didn't make me feel good. <gasps> he did what? What? No way! That is so unfair. No one deserves to be treated like that. Who would do such a thing, and what do you even get out of it? That's right. I had to call the police about this. Wait! But, but Shelby... Karen? Wait, Shelby, please don't tell. Because then Anthony will get really mad at me because he said that I'm not supposed to tell anyone. But Karen, if he's in jail, he can't do anything to you. You did the right thing by telling us what happened. All right, Shelby, call the police. Uh, but, but, but... The phone is ringing. That was quick. Hello? Hello, police. Um, there's a man named Anthony Ben Ross, and he lives by the littlest pet shop in town. You see, I live with my two best friends, Karen and Jim Bob, and Karen is a victim of sexual abuse. Anthony did this to her. He touched her in inappropriate places, and we don't really like that at all, and that's not okay. Thank you so much. I'm glad you told us. Yeah, because otherwise he might do the same to you again. And this is not okay. Just remember, whenever something is wrong, you have to tell us so that we can take care of it, okay? Um, okay. Thanks, you guys. Hello, everybody. It's Shelby. And Karen. And Jim Bob. And we really hoped you enjoyed today's episode. Now, what did we learn in today's episode, kids? Sexual abuse and touching people in inappropriate areas is very wrong, and there will be severe consequences, which means there will be extreme punishments. So please, just don't do it. It's not okay, and it's not right. And it's just plain disgusting. So please, don't join in this act. Instead, try to help to stop it. And if someone does this to you, you have to tell someone about it, whether it be your parents or a best friend. Or you could even tell a teacher at school. Yeah, and remember, afterwards, you may feel dirty, but you have to tell someone. That way, whoever did this to you can be arrested and stopped. You can help reduce the problem today. Reduce means to lower the amount. So please, if this ever happens to you, tell someone. And just don't join in, guys, because it's not cool and it's not good for you or anyone.